और इंडिया का बड़ा त्योहार इट इज आई फील टाइम अगेन एंड पिटी ऑन दो स्टूडेंट्स हुआ हैविंग देयर एग्जाम्स ऑन द सेम टाइम एज वेल द फिफ्टींथ एडिशन ऑफ आई पी एल इज ऑल सेट टू किक स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 26th of March that is on Saturday at Mumbai's Wankhede Stadium with the defending champions Chennai Super Kings taking on the last year's runners up Kolkata Knight Riders This year IPL will be played at four venues across Mumbai and Pune under biosecure environment in order to avoid air travel which is considered as the main reason for the spread of COVID-19 also this ipl season will be the longest one where we will see 74 matches including the playoffs that is 14 matches more than the previous edition and there will be 12 double header matches in total uh, where the first match will start at 3:30 pm according to indian standard time and then the evening matches will start at 7:30 pm according to indian standard time the final match of the league stage will be between sunrisers hyderabad and Uh, Punjab Kings on 22nd of May at Wankhede Stadium Mumbai So the venues for playoff matches are not confirmed yet it will be decided later on so we will discuss about the venues for league matches so there will be 70 league matches across four different stadiums in Mumbai and Pune in Mumbai Wankhede Stadium will host 20 matches Ravon Stadium will host 15 matches TY Patel Stadium will host 20 matches and followed by Pune's MCA International Stadium which will host 15 matches The 10 teams will play a total of 14 league matches 7 home matches 7 away matches followed by four playoff matches earlier seasons eight teams used to participate in IPL each team played each other twice in order to complete 14 league matches however in 2022 they have done they have divided the teams into two groups where each group will be having five teams each so here here are the here's a look at the two groups So group A having Mumbai Indians, Kolkata Knight Riders, Rajasthan Royals, Delhi Capitals and Lucknow Super Giants and group B having Chennai Super Kings, Sunrisers Hyderabad, Royal Challengers Bangalore, Punjab Kings and Gujarat Titans. So in case if you're wondering on what basis they have formed this group well the teams have been designed in two groups on the basis of their performance throughout the IPL season that is the number of IPL titles that the team has won followed by the number of final matches that the team has played so basically the group is formed in a alternative way uh, like see uh, mumbai indians are on top they have been added to group a next comes chennai super kings who are on second they have been added to group b and then so on kkr on third they have been added to group a and then sunrisers who are on fourth they have been added to group b each team will play twice with the teams in their group and with the team which is in the same row but in the other group and they will play only once with the other teams in the other group for example in group a mumbai indians will play two matches against kolkata rajasthan delhi and lucknow and mumbai indians will also play two matches against Uh, Chennai Super Kings cuz they both are in the same row. Mumbai Indians will play only one match against the other teams in group B. Similarly for RCB, RCB will play two matches against Chennai, Hyderabad, um uh, what's other team? Uh Punjab and Gujarat. And yeah, RCB will play two matches with Rajasthan also cuz they both are in the same row. RCB will play only one match against the other teams in group A. you must also be wondering how will be the road to the playoffs despite the teams have been divided into two groups all the 10 teams will be ranked together at the league table and as you all know how it has been so far the top 4 teams at the end of league matches will qualify for the playoffs in india 
All IPL matches will be telecasted live on Star Sports Network in eight languages. Wow, eight languages like Hindi, English, Kannada, Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Bengali, eight languages. And you can also watch it live stream on Disney Plus Hotstar app. Well, I am extremely excited for Tata IPL 2022 to begin with 74 matches, 65 days, 10 teams, 1 champion. Are you excited? Definitely, it's going to be fun filled 2 months with loads of cricket. Whom are you backing, guys? Do comment down below in the comment box. Uh, yeah, see you in my next video. I hope you found this video informative. And wait, who is my rose dialogue? If you like video, like it and friends share it with and don't subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye bye. So while I was editing this video, I saw this trending scene on Twitter and I was completely shocked. Definitely it's a heartbreaking news for all the MS Dhoni fans out there. He started his captaincy journey with 2017 20 World Cup trophy and ended it with 2021 IPL trophy. What a glorious journey it has been skipper. End of an era, end of captaincy. MS Dhoni hands over the captaincy to Ravindra Jadeja. Anyway, a big congratulations to Ravindra Jadeja. Hopefully he will do great as a captain for Chennai Super Kings.